come back to the channel and so first of all just simply log in your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on this checkbox and then click on enter and continue now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that now click on continue now in the description box of this video i will share all this command now just simply come back over here click on the task number one just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this region just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to now copy all this command come back over here just simply paste and hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize now this command is going to take a couple of minutes meanwhile we will move forward with the task number two now what you do just simply search for the big query open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second now and then click on this done now again come back to the lab instructions click on the task number two just me scroll down and from here just me copy this query just me copy like this way come back over here click on this untitled just me paste a query just simply wait and once you get a green tick over here then click on this run and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue now what you do just simply come back over here click on this dashboard now what you do we have to just simply wait for this query get executed otherwise we will get unnecessary error on task number four so just simply wait And it's finally done now what you do just me search for the data flex over here open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second now then click on this checkbox and then click on this get started now click on this process and then click on this create task now just me wait now here you can see check data quality then click on this create task now just me wait and from here just simply choose the e-commerce link just like this now for the display name come back over here click on the task number four just let me scroll down and from here just me copy this name and make sure that you do not copy any extra space just me copy like this way come back over here and paste now for the gcs file just me copy this come back over here scroll down and then just me paste over here just me wait 
and here we will get the green tick over here now again come back over here now copy this come back over here just me scroll down and now just me paste over here now for the bigquery table just me copy this name come back over here paste like this okay now for the service account just me click over here and from here what you do we have to just me choose a computer engine service account just me click over here scroll down and then click on this continue now just me wait now here you can see start it must be immediate and then click on this create now just me wait for a couple of second now just me click on this link just me wait and then click on this link now just me wait Come back over here and just simply click on this refresh button. So here you can see we are still not able to get a link over here. We have to just like keep hitting on refresh button and until and unless we get a link over here. Again, just simply wait. Again, click on the refresh button. Now, let's see. Now, here you can see finally we are able to get a link over here. Now, just click on this link. Wait for a second now. Now, here you can see the status is pending. Now, we have to just wait until this status so as success. And once it's done, we will move forward to the last task. And finally, the status is success. Now, I request you please pay attention over here. Now, what you do, just let me come back to the BigQuery and just let me click over here and then click on this customer DQ data set. Just let me click over here. Now, here you can see all this data set and table name. Okay, and if you are not able to find this data set and table name, no need to worry. Just simply wait for a couple of seconds and again, just simply refresh the page. Now, what you do, just simply click on this DQ summary table name. Just simply click over here. Now, I am again saying, please pay attention over here. Now, what you do, click on this preview. Just simply wait. 
and just we slide over here now here you can see failed record query here you can see this thing now just we click on this down arrow and just simply make it up once you make it up then you are able to copy this content now what you do just we try to copy from here till here just we copy this thing carefully just we copy like this way open a new query tab and display paste over here wait for a second and once you get a green tick over here then click on this run now again come back over here so we are done with this thing now again click on this arrow and just simply make it up and once you make it up then you are able to copy all this content just make sure that you have to copy all this thing carefully just simply copy like this way again click on this plus icon just simply paste over here wait for a second and once you get a green tick over here then click on this run now we have to just simply wait for this query get executed and once it's done we are done with this lab as you can see it's done now if we just come back over here and click on the check my progress for all the tasks i will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a score over here no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of more minutes because lab take time to update the score now just simply wait now if i just come back over here and click on the task number four and if i just scroll down and click on this check my progress i will get a green tick over here without any issue just simply wait and watch and as you can see, I got a green tick. And as I said, lab take time to update the score, so no need to worry about that. Just keep hitting on check my progress, and we will get a score without any issue. And as you can see, I got the score. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and have a good day, guys.